then like is that oh it's, it's that's just, her it, thing it she's the ultimate sugar baby she's just the ultimate sugar baby I, I mean again that's a huge rumor that's out there. I don't know that that's true. And I think that's why they came out and denied this week that there was an open marriage. There isn't anybody else. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if I believe that, but do I believe she'll end up with somebody rich again? A hundred and ten percent. I think. I mean, I feel about her. Well, I mean, I, I don't. I feel I, I'm we already established recently, guys, that can't uh, that the. The title of that YouTube video, Sarah, was Have We Become Erica Jane Apologists? So just, oh, just so that. you don't, but That's like good. there's something about, you know, like Catherine Edwards is always like saying, who would want Erica? You know her story. You know she wants the money. You know, like if you're yeah, like- she seems less thirsty. She yes, seems yes, thirsty of a gold that, digger. I, I, I agree with you. I agree. Yeah. 20 years. And I, I mean, look- I don't know, Erica, aside from the five minutes we met her, but I believe I, I, I wouldn't shock me if she is under disguise. I think she visits Tom. I, I think she I, I totally believe she's in love with Tom still to this day. I think she will. Tom will die with her helping him. Um, I, Tom made her. I mean, now, yeah. Did he fucking steal from airplane victims to do it? Yeah, we're all furious. And someone, one of our listeners slid in my DMs and same thing. I can't believe you support her. And some other branch of the IRS is investigating her and you wait until they bring her down. You're going to be totally wrong. I don't know. Maybe I am. I find her to be fantastic. I, I love her. I don't, I don't mind her. Until you can prove that she really knew he was swindling these victims. I think she thought. This man's one of the biggest, most powerful attorneys in Los Angeles. Whatever he says, if he deposits 20 million, I mean, I don't think I would question it. And by I the mean, way, I'm not so right. sure. I'm not so sure that she's living above her means now. I mean, uh, yes, she owes this money, but let me just say I one thing. And I'm not like making excuses for Erica, but like for, for someone that is obsessed, that my hobby is bags, that's what I buy. She's had the same, you know, yes, the, the the pants are, you know, whatever. And, and you know, Balenciaga and she has the Louis bag. She's, if people, you watch her closely, it's the same bag, the same, you know, ain't, ain't something wearing the same bag twice, honey. Like she's, she's recycling a lot of things. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there that she's, it's, I don't know if she's, if she does make like 900, it's not like she makes zero dollars you know, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. And it's, it, listen, it's one thing, I guess they're two different situations. I just, yeah, I don't know. Kim is just like, let I me think it's going to be harder for Kim because the, the big poppy thing was what really turned people up. I mean, big poppy was married. <clears throat> Everybody in Papa, Atlanta. Knew big Papa. Yeah. Big Papa. Oh yeah. Big poppy's the same. Poppy, Papa, whatever. I mean, <laughs> baseball player. Oh, sorry. I got sorry it, girl. Big poppy. You weren't, you weren't involved. Sorry, big poppy, <clears throat> big Papa. Okay. Thank you. Big Pop, everybody knew supposedly who he was around Atlanta. He was married with a whole other family. He was stepping out on this woman. I mean, that to me is sheer, you a sugar baby girl and you doing anything you can to find a daddy. You know, you don't give a shit if he's married, if he's, that's what, and I think the thing was, she really did fall in love with Corey, but she knew he had this NFL money. And it, to me, it's a way different situation. Can't, um, Erica versus Kim. I just, I think this is going to get ugly before it gets better. I, 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 I do think it's real though. I, I, I think this is real and I think it's, it's, I just, and he wants sole custody. I mean, this is going to get, listen again. I mean, I, I understand what Kat, if I was, I know, I'm not so sure that he won't. It. I know. I, I, I just, I, I, I do think Kim is kind of a mess. I do. You know, this is the difference to me is that Erica, and again, I'm just making these comparisons. Like, again, I'm not giving her a free pass. Like, I do think that she is a smart businesswoman. Like, I do think she understands the numbers and why are we doing this? And yes, when daddy was paying for the pretty mess tour and it was bleeding money, sure, you went on it. But I think now that she's not, like, I think she understands the like, I think Erica is a brand who is making money. I think Erica's Vegas is going, her Vegas thing is going to make money. It is. I mean, so I don't think Kim understands the concept of rightly like, to your point when there is a lipstick line or a bathing suit. I'm not sure she understands. That's my take of it. Of re I don't think she understands the finances of like 
when Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank says, take it out back and shoot it, like, like again, this podcast is being shut down tomorrow if we're not making money. I'm, I'm out, guys. Love you all. We can keep in touch. I am out. We can keep in touch. He crashed out. Yontef out. I'm done. So I just don't understand if Kim, you know, I understand passion projects and, and things we like to do in the world. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if Kim understands like the, I just, it's like a bigger issue for me. I don't know. It bothers me. Am I being, am I being judgmental today, guys? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I think everybody has these questions too. I mean, Kim to me is up there with obviously Nini's the queen, but Kim is to me, I found her to be so entertaining on Housewives, because I think you're right. There's a level of crazy and lack of acknowledgement about how nuts you are. And it's great. And, you know, it's fun to watch. Those are the people we want to watch on TV, even though you guys all rail against it, like with Rinna. We'll talk about that later. Um, I love watching Kim on television. I do. She's unrealistic. The wigs. I mean, the wigs. We're finally going to find out how much all those cost. I wouldn't be surprised, like you said, if she doesn't get sole custody of those kids. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe she's a really good mother, though. She does seem really close with her girls. She seems like she's done. Uh, uh, I mean, again, you're looking at social media, so I don't know. She the seems social like media stuff. shade has started, though. And by the way, I don't think that she's coming back to RHOA. I mm-hmm. don't. You saw the thing where Andy te- Andy texted her and is like shocked. I mean, people are shocked. I there's something about Kim that I get the impression like, well, first of all, I mean, I don't know. Like they don't. I feel like the network isn't like rolling out the red carpet for her right now. I don't. And I talked to Carlos about this recently. Like, I just don't, I don't feel that they are. I I don't think she's going to be back next season. I just, I don't, I really don't. I mean, the, the funny thing is, is Nini has a new boyfriend. This is going on with Kim. We have our Eva Marcel is going through a divorce. Like there's some real life stuff. Cynthia Bailey just got divorced. There's some real life stuff going off with our non ATLP shoulders. Like if this legacy Roni thing works, which Ramona Singer says, you know, there's an announcement coming. We should do a, like, we should do a, a peach in Atlanta legacy girls trip thing is what I'm saying. Cause there's a lot going on with these girls that are off the air. We are going to keep you guys posted. I mean, we do have uh, some time. Should we talk about me attending the Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras show? We need to. Wait, I have one more thing before yeah. <clears throat> yesterday. Or should, was or should we talk about that next time? <clears throat> well, I'm curious. Uh, okay, do you want to save it for next time? It might be a whole thing. We might have to do some quicker topics. Yeah. Well, mine, mine was just one really quick thing, which what did you, what do you make of Brielle unfollow? Like, Initially, the girls were like, oh, my God, stunned, supposedly, love Croy. Then Brielle unfollows him. I mean, what do you make of all 